Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio, and today I'm gonna share with you how to do a morph text effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page, but we're gonna move over to the fusion page to do this effect. So I'm gonna go and bring a new fusion composition in my timeline, and then we're gonna move over to the fusion page. Now I'm gonna bring two text nodes in my working area, the first one right here and the second one right there. We're just gonna write two text. So on the first one, I'm gonna write Da Vinci. I'm gonna change the font for Montserrat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here with text two. I'm gonna do resolve and I'm gonna change the font for Montserrat. Uh, I think it works generally better with bold font. There is a bit more substance for the two texts to merge together, which is quite nice, I think. Now we're gonna need to merge those two together with a dissolve node, which is gonna basically gonna help us create that morph effect. So I'm gonna select the first text and I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard to open the select tool window. And then we're gonna search for dissolve. I'm gonna hit enter to bring that in our working area. I'm gonna link the output of the text one to the yellow arrow and then the output of the text two to the green arrow. And I'm gonna link the output of the dissolve to the media out. Just gonna bring here our text. I know that I'm gonna need three other nodes to create this effect, so we're gonna bring them right now. I'm gonna select the dissolve and then hit shift space again to open the select tool window. And we're gonna search for blur. We're gonna bring here a blur node. And then we're gonna search uh, for bitmap. So shift space again, search for bitmap, bring the bitmap here into the timeline. We're gonna connect the output of the blur to the yellow arrow and then the output of the bitmap to the media out. Now that we have the main structure done, we're gonna just create the animation by keyframing. So here I'm gonna make the animation last for 25 frames, about one second. So I'm gonna select the dissolve, make sure that I'm on frame 25 and just add a keyframe. And then we're gonna go to zero and then bring the background foreground uh, down to zero. So basically, as you see, it just create that fade in transition from one text to another. Now to just ease in that a bit more, we're gonna use the blur. So I'm gonna go to frame zero, and then we're gonna add blur size here down to zero, add a keyframe. We're gonna go up to half what we want to animate. So here that's gonna be about 12 or 13 frame. And we're just gonna bring the blur size to four or five. So here I'm just gonna do four. And then we're gonna go to frame 25 and we're gonna bring that down to zero again. So now we have the same fit in animation, but that looks a bit better. It's a bit smoother here with the blur. Now we're just gonna create the morph effect with the last node, the bitmap. To do that, you're gonna go about halfway into your animation. So here where the two texts are kind of merging together and you're gonna play with the low and the high here with the alpha channel. So I would say maybe around here four for the low and around five. Play around with the slider, see what works for you. But for me, most of the time, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 is working fairly good. Right there, we have something that is quite smooth in my opinion. Now you can add a background to change the overall color in between the two texts. So here, I'm just gonna connect the output to the mask and that to the media out. If for some reason the alpha channel is at zero, make sure to bring it back to one. And now you can easily change the color to whatever you want. Uh, for this one, let's do a gradient. So we're just gonna go over to horizontal gradient, pick a color, we're gonna go with purple here and red. And here we have a simple gradient. Now we can add a soft glow, for example. So here I'm gonna do shift space again, search for soft glow, and I'm gonna bring a soft glow right after it. We're gonna bring down the glow size. And here I'm gonna just decrease the gain a little bit. And I'm gonna add one last node to adjust the size. So I'm gonna hit shift space on my keyboard, search for transform node, and bring the transform node here in my node area and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit like that. And now let's play it. Perfect, it looks pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.